all around town you see developments happening and that means more pressure on some of our schools. Well, that's why this commission is looking at different rezoning options to take away some of that burden. Uh, Mr. Chair, members of the commission, the Clark County School District Attendance Zone Advisory Commission, the Zoning Commission for short, is once again dealing with schools that are over capacity. Liberty High School has a capacity of 2509, an enrollment of 3214. They're at 128.10% of program capacity. Take Liberty High School that you just heard about there. With well over 120% capacity and major growth and development in the area with the Insprada and West Henderson Master Plan developments in the works, the commission is looking at rezoning the school to take off some of the weight. This when they know more and more students will be enrolling as more people move into those new homes. If one school is overcrowded and continues to grow, we're looking at schools in the area that could provide some relief. In Liberty High School's case, the commission is looking at rezoning some students to Silverado High School, which is at about 78% capacity. A new school, South Career and Technical Academy, expected to be built by next year, is also supposed to help. It'll provide relief to that entire area, um, and I'm not certain what, that's outside of our scope, is what other high schools might come into that area. The commission discussed rezoning possibilities for a few elementary and middle schools as well Tuesday, also because of housing developments in the works. Some future Wayne Tanaka and Judas Steele Elementary students could be rezoned to Shelley Berkeley and D. Snyder Elementary Schools. Del Webb Middle and Charles Silvestri Middle Schools could also have zone changes to provide Del Webb with some relief. One thing to keep in mind is students already at the schools will be grandfathered in when zoning changes take place next school year. We would do a phased in approach so they would they would remain at that school um, and only new students moving in would would move transitions. Now they take community input before deciding how to move forward. Our biggest goal here is to try to align all of those students so that they stay together no matter where they go and move them so that they stay as a group. Well, there is a possibility that this commission could be voting on some of those rezoning options next board meeting. That's on October 29th. And then there could be future meetings where they look at those high schools that could be rezoned. Reporting from the East Valley, I'm Tiffany Lane for News 3. Back to you.